All right, guys. Good morning. Welcome back to another one. Um, today, today is going to be one of those insane meets. Um, today, Greddy is hosting, and Greddy doesn't host meets that often. Uh, Greddy is hosting um, a classic Honda meet. Um, so, automatically, anytime Greddy uh, Greddy hosts an event, they literally shut down this street. So I'm here super early. It's still rolling. They're already filling the side lots. Both, both side lots are already getting filled up. Um, and the way it's gonna be is all the way up and down the street, it'll be nothing but cars. So I'm gonna start running through. Uh, I'm already getting rolling, ton of rolling. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll head over to this side lot over here and I'll show you guys. But this is the way, this is the way it's gonna go today. Um, I've got everything from, you know, uh, a Mugen, a Mugen RR, you know, uh, set up on an, uh, you know, to, I already have an R32 down here. So this is, this is just one of the side lots. And as we go through the other lots, like you're going to see nothing, but just an absolute crazy set of cars. So, I mean, this is, this is going to be all the top of the top Hondas here in SoCal. So. You guys hang out with me, let me know what you think. Drop those comments below, let me know what cars you like out here, and um, I'm gonna get at it. All right. So we're gonna do a side lot. I'm gonna have to run through these probably a couple times just because we'll have cars come in and out and everything else. A uh, couple cool, uh, like first gen CRXs, older Civic, right hand drive Supra. I mean, that's that's pretty bad too. Whole rear, uh, rear hatch looks like carbon, hood's carbon. Definitely more of a drag setup with those, with that rear wheel setup. That's pretty bad. You got the you got the convertible. You got the convertible CRX. Never, never see it in these. I think they only made them like one year. You guys can correct me on that, but I, like, I never see them. I thought they were always like chopped cars that they did after the fact. I mean, maybe it is. I have to look under the little cover and see. Uh, let's see what else we got. Sounds like we're gonna battle that music today, but you know, it's it's part of the fun of coming out. Nice little fit. Spoon spoon calipers, little set of white TEs. It actually fits really good on the car. Like that's kinda that's kinda all this car needs. Um man, which front bumper is that? I wanna say it's like an Ings kit, but I'm not sure. It doesn't say anywhere. You guys, throw it throw it down there. Which uh which front end is that? A nice little FL5. Then we got a couple others mixed in over here. Got a little IS. You know, they're all like like you'd expect. It's a drift spec one. Um, dumped out really good in the rear. 
Let's see what we got down this run. A couple little seat Civics. Little FK8. Two nice little NSXs. This yellow one right here with the blue TEs. Let me see if I can get that for you. The blue TEs and almost like a matching yellow. Um, I mean, really close for matching yellow uh, stop techs and the the decals for the bulk. That, that's good. I mean, I don't see any blue carried on to the interior, but like it definitely looks good. I probably would have went the extra and reupholstered like the Brid seats and you know where it says like low max and red. I'd have made it like a matching blue stitch, but you know I have that that like OCD tendency. If I'm gonna do a theme and do like a color theme, that's that's you know how I go. Is that right hand drive MK4? It's uh it's interesting. It's not I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it for you. It's not a black. It's like a really like deep charcoal with a bunch of flake. Looks good. These are the work CRs. These are for a Honda. Let me see. There you go. These are like one of my favorite one of my favorite wheels for like a little Honda, like a CRX or something, I would definitely throw those on a CRX. But the Integra with the with the hood popped, and then a couple mix. Got some GRs over here. Nice little uh, EG, and then like I said, we've been filling up, so they fill up the side lot. We got Grady over there. That's where the DJ is. So. I can't get too close to that and still talk to you guys, but a couple little EFs. I mean, this one with the, they got the intake vent for the headlight. I bet this is a good runner right here. I think, I think everything's perfect about it, except it's not a CRX. <laughs> you know, I can't help myself. I gotta mess with you guys. Um, I don't, I don't know what it is. I just like the CRX better. BMW pulled out, don't pull in there, it's already full. So I'm gonna do my best to do a little walking and talking over here. We're getting close to Greddy, so DJ, the music's uh, getting getting louder and louder. You got some classic Janet Jackson playing, if I remember correctly. Um, Toyota Camry, like this one, this one's super cool. Um, the design style, everything else. I'm pretty sure they did this on the the new Motor Trend one with uh, 
the like Super Street one that Nads and Amir have been doing. I'm pretty sure it was this one. Uh, this EK, Advan. So, yeah. That's, wow, okay. <laughs> yeah, a couple S2Ks, you know, run through. Nice red, through. Nice red one. The second red one here has the Gretty kit on it. BBSs. So this is the new, the new Gretty kit that they that they dropped for the S2K that is carb legal, <laughs> which that's that's actually pretty cool. Um, so it gives the S2K kind of that last little boost of power that it needs. Um, you know, for everybody that complains that it's underpowered, you got a got a cool little Honda Beat. I didn't even realize they made. TEs that small, um, but they really fit well on the car. And we'll run down through. I'm gonna try and talk as much as I can coming down through because the closer I come to the music, you know, the worse it the worse it gets, and you know, they're gonna copyright me. But that uh CRX on some Mugens, nice little setup. You got the DA and then you got the EF with the with the JDM front on it. Like all of those are super clean. This is if you guys haven't seen this one before, this is probably my favorite CRX. Uh, SIR, glass top roof, came out of a private collection, got the old Mugen wheels and everything else, like that, that right there, that's, that's one of my favorites. You got uh, Sinister's NSX, and then we got a couple other ones down through this way. Alright guys, so I'm going to take a, a little run down this way, hit one of the other side lots, we're on the other side of on the kind of the back end of Gretty now. So should be a little better for everything. So for the Integra that wants to roll through bumping his music, but past that run through, I'm gonna show you guys these cars. We'll go over into the side lot over here, show you what's there and uh, kind of run through. If uh, you guys have never been to a Gretty event, this is typically how it goes. Like the, the one later on in the year, the one, um, I think it's in November that they do where they do a uh, food drive and everything else for like kind of for Christmas time for the holidays that event is absolute chaos out here like they have every single side lot filled you know and just cars up and down these roads like that are never ending so I'm gonna go down here I'm gonna show you like a set of cars that uh, that are all parked down this way I'll work my way back up this uh, I'll work my way back up this row and and we'll hit this side lot but Let's see, we got some, we got some pretty cool ones down here. We got our friends with the, with the big old Bronco, part of, part of the Bronco adventures here. Um, this one, this one's so cool. They got so much done to that. It looks great. Um, so we've got, I guess I'll start down here with the, the FC and we'll work our way back up. Looks like our super buddy from the other lot moved down here. Guess he felt weird being with all the Hondas. I don't know. FC. Uh, all carbon fiber accents. So he's got the little inset headlights. Got the, the 57s on it. Nice little clean interior. Sparco wheel. Like, it's real clean. I like how he, I like how he did the the tail lights on it he's got the he's got the little stars inside the the tail lights um we got our we got our super guy that that rotated over here nice little 14 on some vs's and some 326 uh lugs a little stanced out 86 got some uh got some of the the Euro guys coming in, a couple BMWs, Mercedes, followed up by the Evo in the back. Another nice little GR, really clean uh, first gen NSX on, on some Mugen wheels that like really, they just kind of look like understated. Like they fit the car, but like they fit it like an OEM look. So I, I like it. I like the way that looks. We got, uh, got our Land Cruiser. Man, it's super clean on some TEs. Uh, that's super, super clean. 
Looks like they're gonna fill up another side lot on this side. We got our we got our buddy with the S2K. Rocking the rocking the white TEs. You can't you can't go wrong. Like, I mean, it's a super clean look. Let's see what we got. We got a little side lot over here. Let's see what they've been filling this up with. Oh, it looks like they actually blocked off. Oh, they're doing construction. So normally, normally it covers all the way through there too. Um Looks like we got some some overflow Honda Honda goodies. Oh, that's cool. A little little right-hand drive Integra. It's got the parking pole, some Mugens on it, little four-door. That's cool. Let's see what else we got. Two-door DA. Skunk head on it. Another clean one. Oh, hit a little CRX over here. Just kind of running through for you guys. Let me let me know what you guys think. Here's that right-hand drive, the purple one. This one's pretty cool. Got it on air. He's got it tucked real heavy right now. Little RSX. Mm. That's part of the toy, Doug. Which one? This one. Which one? Yeah. That's high? Yeah. Man, yeah. how many toys you got? <laughs> how many toys you got? So what do you do with this one? Is this just like kind of a daily driver for you? It was a daily and then now I have my RAV4 now, so. Okay. Daily, got, got a daily for the daily. <laughs> I mean, that's how it normally ends up with me. Yeah. Like normally it's like, oh, okay, I got a daily. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna leave it like a daily yeah. and then and then the daily turns into a track prep car, you know, and it'll yeah. get a cage in it and everything else. Then you're like, okay, well maybe it shouldn't be a daily anymore. <laughs> Let me get another daily. And then like I always end up buying something, you know, it's the thing like you buy, you buy like a, you, you buy a fun car. You buy a car that you enjoy mm -hmm. and that's what happens. I need to buy a car I hate. Because yeah. if I buy a car I hate, I won't modify it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if I buy a car like I enjoy and everything else, like it always ends up, oh, oh, I'll leave it stock. And then like, you know, a month later, you're like, oh, let me throw some wheels on it. That's what happens. You know what? Oh, I throw the wheels on it. You know what? The height, the, the gap's not right. Let me, <laughs> let me, let me throw some coilovers on it, you know, because, because yeah. I want to get the height right. And then so after that, nice, I'm like, dude. I'm like, you know what? I got, I got some fresh, fresh tires on it. Let me take it to the track. Let me see what it'll do. And then from there, it's just all downhill. That's what like, I and then, know. and then your daily. You need another daily for your daily, daily. You turn into a track car. You need another daily, and and it's just how it goes. Oh man! Guys, looks like this is probably one of the last lots. Got a nice right-hand drive Supra. Sorry, you guys can see the the sun's killing it now. Nice little four-door. That one. That's actually pretty cool. Four-door and some cosies. Little bolt-in cage. Back's kind of like semi-gutted. That, that's cool. I bet it's a fun little car. What's fun in between these? Okay, so you got, you got the four-door. You got, you know, just the the regular EG coupe. You know, the little hatch. And then next to it. Okay, let me show you that one. That one. Can you guys see the difference? Okay, so that's not a Honda. <laughs> I swear it looks just like the little EG6, right? All right, you guys comment. What which car is this? What what kind of car is this? Um, I already gave you a hint. It's not a Honda. So, um, you guys, let me know. It's a it's a fun little car.
quick rundown while they're doing while they're doing the raffle over here i wanted to try and show you a couple of these cars and and talk to you about a couple of these cars uh the crx the mugen uh crx this is one that we actually got to talk to the owner and everything else uh for one of the at 230 events uh this one is like the the not factory but like the the honda dealer option you know and this was way back when you could actually get the mugen stuff the the rear quarter has to be you know uh like it's molded on so it has to be it has to be put on at the time otherwise everything else is you know just bolted on and color matched and everything else for the car this car is really incredible um if you want to hear more about it um one of my at 230 events uh we covered this car and talked with the owner uh pretty pretty uh extensively on the car uh this nsx i really like the rear spoiler that's kind of like a low wing um pretty sure it's a mugen one it it looks really cool like it's it's different than you know what most everybody else puts on this or if they do like a you know a type r style wing um so he's got the the mugen wheels on it so uh mugen shift knob so it's kind of mugen themed but it's it's really clean uh try and run through the crx over here I'm to show you guys real quick. Gred Greddy Brid uh, Lomax seat. It's got the, the new Greddy wheel. Everything's been gutted out on it. This one, this one's exactly so so you know how I feel about the CRX. This this CRX right here, that's that's exactly what's needed. Um, we got a bunch of good people here like RJ DeVera, um, OMG Builds, a bunch of good ones here. Of course we have, we have uh, Mr. McRiver right here. Glad he's feeling better. Y'all give him your, your good wishes now that he feels better. Um, I think everybody's trying to hide in the shade over here. Let me, let me run down here and show you a couple of the cars that are down this way. Uh, this DA, this DA is super, super clean. Um, it's got Recaro seats, TEs. Again, like like I said, Mugen Mugen body kit on it and everything. So, like like I told you guys, like nice nice and simple is all it needs, and it looks so good. Um, if you guys have seen any of my State of Speed events, uh, this is the host. He's the one that he drives this uh, this beautiful legend right here. Um, we've got a true EK9 CTR, super clean. I heard the owner make a comment that he had just got it. It only had it a couple weeks or something like that. So it's super clean, looks stock um, from the outside. So let's see. And he's got one little gauge. He's got a Greddy temp gauge. So. Uh, this one over here, so we have a, a first-gen Integra, did win an award. Um, this one's actually really cool. This is original owner, uh, original build, you know, that just kind of keeps going. Uh, I was talking with the owner a little bit. This is one of those cars that I'd like to get a hold of and, and do a full review for you guys. Um, this one's pretty cool. It was... It was built back in the day, put away, and it's and it's a beautiful car, like um, original paint, original everything on it. And you know, he's got the the modifications that you'd expect from like the early '90s and everything else, sound system, all of that, and it's all kept like kind of time capsuled, which is which is really cool. Um, this is the Accord we've been talking about. This this just takes me back right here. The dumped out on air like I, I don't know some about that era that just really does it for me uh, got another another DA EG EK and then you can see they're doing they're doing the giveaway over Second here winner. let's see let's see if I can show you got a nice four-door uh, something about okay so I'll ask you guys you got two right-hand drives next to each other so you got two-door in black you got the four-door in white if you had your choice, which one are you taking? 
Um, if you had your choice for the ITR right hand drive, would you take a black one, two door, or would you take the white one in a four door? Um, I'll just get that going right now. As much as I, I like a two door and I like a hatch for some reason in the Integra, I, I would take this four door. I, I don't know. Um, I mean, I've been told 50, 50 weight distribution, everything else is better in the four door. So, um, I don't Another know. One. I, I would probably just take the four door. So. Oh, she hit that hard. She was gonna prep and, it and then straight ahead. Yeah. Don't. Well, thanks for tuning in, guys. That was another great nostalgic fun to meet Hussey from Gretty. <laughs> I'm glad you were part of the video today, sir. I, I tried. I know. Well, because there's you were gonna walk around everywhere, so. Oh, I, chill in the shade. I knew. Fine. I knew you weren't gonna make it today. Yeah. I just chill. But he is feeling better, so yeah, way better. He, he's feeling better. So that's all that matters. Dude, I wanted to win one of the giveaways. <laughs> That's some good stuff. <laughs> it just didn't stop. Alright guys, so it looks like I'm gonna close it out. Um you guys let me know what you thought of today's event. Um like I said, ton of cars. Knew today was gonna be a blast. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for all your support. Uh we're gonna keep doing this. Uh you guys got me there. I'm over I'm over 2,000 subscribers now and it's still climbing. So I appreciate you guys. Um, I'm gonna head out of here. I'm gonna head over to the next one. Uh, you guys, let me know what you think. If you're new to my channel, check out my other videos. Uh, I'm always dropping every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I drop a new video for the week. If you guys like what I do, hit that subscribe, hit that notification. It'll help me keep growing this and uh, we'll keep going. All right, I'll see you guys at the next one. Thanks.